Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions. This video tutorial is for those of you who are previously owned the LSP Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions and you're upgrading uh, with your complimentary upgrade to the newer version. This is a major update, so I'm going to talk through everything in here so you can hit the ground running. So the first thing you need to do is download the new version um, from your account or from your email. If you can't find this, you need to log into your account on the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com using the email address you purchased with, and you will be able to download the new version for free. It will be there in your account. If you didn't set up an account when you've um, ordered, you can create an account. Just make sure you use that same email address and it will just automatically come in. Any problems, you can email me via the website. So you need to install the Photoshop Actions. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you can visit the website again and go on the installation instructions if you've forgotten how to get them in. The Actions will appear at the bottom of your Action Panel. I like to drag them right to the top. There's no need to delete your old Signature Newborn Photoshop Actions. If you're very comfortable using those, you can keep them in for now if you want to, or you can remove them and just get started with the new set. Nothing um, has been taken away. Everything is still in there. Um, the main differences you will notice is there is a more intuitive editing order organized here. Everything is labeled instant balance fix. Everything comes with instructions. So you can simply click these and hit the play icon and instructions will come up for each section. Um, you, you no longer need a background layer to run, um, which was one of the major issues in the last set because sometimes you'd crop and you didn't have a background layer and it would make the actions glitch out. You no longer need a background layer to run. Each action um, has been renamed, um, has been created to run faster. It has been created much more intuitively. Um, so it runs faster, smoother, with less glitching, which is what we all want at the end of the day when editing a newborn gallery. So let's have a little look at what's included. Right now I'm on grey mode. I prefer to come over to button mode, so you can click up here. If you're on Elements, unfortunately you cannot do this step. Elements does not allow for button mode. But if you're on full versions of Photoshop, you can click the little lines and choose button mode. Drag them in until they snap into a nice, neat column like this and you will see they are in absolute editing order. If it looks really messy, that's no fun, so make sure you drag it in there. So up the top, you have instructions. These help you get started with the actions. They come up with um, on-screen tutorials. You can hit continue to go through these. It talks you through your brush settings. Your brush needs to be normal, um, soft, round 100% opacity, 25% flow, how to use the actions, how to work layer masks, what to do if you get error codes, and so on. You also have um, take a snapshot and flatten. This is really handy throughout. Um, it means you don't have too many layers cluttering up your layer panel, and you can always go back in the history panel here um, and find your snapshots. Really, really helpful. You have delete and use layers too. This one's really, really helpful. It's kind of a mini toolkit. So if you've got layers that you're not using, you can hit that and they will just instantly remove them um, to keep your layers panel clean. You also have a batch actions option. You can click this. It will open up your batch uh, window. You can choose whichever action you want to play. Make sure you've got all the files opened and hit OK and it will batch that over the, um, any open images in your gallery. If you're new to using Signature Newborn, if you've um, first purchased this and you don't have the old version, this tutorial really isn't for you. Um, you can go straight ahead on the LSP Actions website, visit the video tutorial section, and you can watch the complete Get Started video tutorial there. This tutorial is for those of you who already owned this set and are upgrading to the larger, newer version. So section one is the instant balance fix. You have instant lights up, lights down, warm up, cool down, Divine Contrast Watch and uh, Magic Baby Balancer. So you can hit any of these to play them out and they will do exactly what they say. These are very gentle. You can see here, this has just corrected that white balance. With all of these um, washes, when they come up with a white layer mask, you can slide the opacity um, to suit your image. Each section, um, barring the skin retouch and a couple of other sections, has a play all. So you can click this one to play them all out. And what this will do, it will play them all um, and you can mix and match rather than having to click through everything. So if you're not sure about what you need in a section, you can choose play all. Um, and then it kind of gives you the option, turn them on or off to see the effect and mix and match. 
So you can literally turn these on or off and see what you like. You can use the um, delete unused layers to remove any that you don't want to use. Section two is the multi-layer baby base. Complete Baby Quick Fix is now named Base 1 Baby Quick Fix Proof Workflow. This is really, really great if you're um, wanting to get a quick proof, if you want to do, say you've got 10 images open and you want to proof them all the same, it helps you balance out, um, it gives you some brushes just to paint on really very, very quickly. Let me just ooh, slide this open a bit so we can see what we've got here. We have reduced reds, which you can, let me just set my brush, 100% opacity, 25% flow. It will automatically select the brush for you in every action now um, and that means you don't have to be changing the brush settings. Cheeks and lips, this just adds a little bit of colour to those cheeks and lips. Soft skin, this is a really basic workflow. It literally is if you just want to swipe the gallery, perhaps you do same day viewings and you just want to do a really quick beautiful edit. Paint away in a yellow, it does exactly what it says warm and lift the skin tone so add a bright warmth to the skin bringing back the details I'm just going to brush that over so you can see I'm literally just this is very very gentle I'm literally just oh well, what I was just about to say make sure you click on the black layer mask there so you can paint this on you can see bring back the details is working lovely there paint away shine if you've got a shiny nose or any kind of oily areas you can use that one Darken areas down if you want to add some shadows in, or brighten up if you want to brighten up any areas. Brighten up more if baby really needs the brighter face, of course you want baby's face to be the brightest part of the image, so you can use that one there. So that's the complete baby quick fix workflow. You see that's just played out. The newborn skin perfection is exactly the same as it was before. You can click this and it will give you um, some automated skin editing options really great if you're not sure what you need and you want to just batch a quick workflow over i'm sure you're already using this one before but we have the newborn perfect skin there so you can use this to just color over any of the flaky glitchy kind of areas it's a very gentle um, skin smoother and it also magically removes any blemishes really really quickly so we can just go over that one Blotchy Mottle Skin Fix, you can use this on any areas where the skin um, needs balancing out a little bit more. You see there on the cheeks, looks a little bit blotchy. Softer skin, if you want to go for the, the classic smooth newborn skin look. Skin retexture, if any areas are a little bit too smooth, because I don't believe in over smoothing babies, you can use that one. Detail Pop, over the eyelashes, the brows and the cupid's bow of the lips. Adding some contrast in, let's make my brush a little bit bigger. Contrast always works beautifully um, at several stages throughout your editing. Toner will just help um, balance those reds and yellows out a little bit more over the skin. Milky Bright um, is a beautiful finisher for the skin if you want to go creamy um, and your image is quite dark. So that's the newborn skin base, same as it was before. Let me just come in there so you can see that one. So we have the before and after there using those bases, a really quick edit. Next up, you have the lighting brushes. Or before this as well, we'll pepper throughout, you have take a snapshot and flatten. Um, these are the stages where I recommend snapshotting and flatten, just to clear your layers panel out. You can go on history at any time and go back to that snapshot if you need to. But remember, snapshots don't save. So once you save, you lose your snapshots. Lighting brushes, again, you have instructions. And these are brushes that you have brighten up, soft, brighten up full, darken down, add depth, um, subtle contrast, light the shadows and balance. So adding depth here will add almost a 3D element to your image there if it's looking a little bit flat. Light the shadows and balance the highlights is really good if your image is a little too contrasty. For example, here in the hair, I want to lift those shadows without um, you know, making the highlights too bright. Next up, you have the skin retouch brushes. Now, you may have been using the uh, the newborn skin perfecto before, which is the favorite action. This is now renamed newborn skin pro perfection because before this, you have newborn skin pro gentle. You have no newborn skin pro extreme for those babies with the um, the very extreme skin. Let me just show you that one there. So this little guy here has. Um, 
rather extreme skin as you can see so you can of course I recommend playing the other actions to balance your image out first don't jump straight in with the skin editing but let me just show you what this one does so let's use magic baby balance first just to kind of um, lift that image up a little bit there just balance things out a bit okay so the newborn skin pro extreme is for the extreme skin if you've got extreme baby acne extreme flakes anywhere like that especially on the face and um, smooth the larger areas of the body don't worry about the wrists and ankles because you actually have a peely wrist and ankles uh, lotion action here which I'll show you that one as well it works really really well so the newborn skin pro extreme has played out and you can use this to paint off any very very large areas of flakes whilst keeping the integrity of the skin it will soften a bit as well um, it will give you that lovely soft finish I don't recommend painting this any over any detailed areas such as eyelashes lip line um, hair anywhere like that but as for the skin as you can see it's literally just painting those um, shitty peely areas away really really quickly it's also helping balance the tones out too so I'm just brushing that over basically colouring in those flaky bits away. You see there before and after, that's Skin Pro Extreme. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Now let's have a look at the Peely Wrists um, and Ankles lotion. So sometimes you might get feet like this. You can play Peely Wrists and Ankles and it's played out and you can simply use this to start colouring in over any areas um, on the wrists and the ankles, especially that are peeling. Those areas tend to get the larger um, kind of sheddy versions, sheets of skin that are kind of falling or hanging off um, after baby has been in the womb, suspended in water for nine months. So um, they, they very often begin to peel that layer of skin, normally right around the time of the newborn photo shoot. So you can use that to start really just scrubbing away those areas of skin, applying that lotion in um, to really kind of remove those peely areas. Very, very effective. And it adds a lovely creamy softness to the skin there too. You have calm, blotchy and patchy skin. So if after you've done your skin um, healing and you realise there's some kind of blotchy, um, patchy areas there, you can use this action and that will calm those right the way down, right the way back. And it will add a uniform um, toning to the skin there. I don't recommend painting this one over any detail areas. And then you have Skin Retexturizer. This one is great for if you want to add a little bit of texture back in, if you've kind of overdone it with the smoothing. You can use this one, I'd recommend going in quite gently, to add a naturalistic skin texture there if the skin has been over smoothed. Sometimes we have to over smooth a little bit if you're removing large areas of um, acne and flake or scratches. And then as before, you have Reduce the Reds, Bye Bye Jaundice, Skin Lift and Pop, Milky Bright Skin, Paint Away Shine, Baby Soft Skin and Rosy Pink Cheeks and Lips. You also have Red Fingers and Toes Karma. A little bit different to Reduce the Reds there, so you can use this on the Red Fingers and Toes and it will take away those more intense reds uh, without kind of bleaching the skin too much there. You have the Colour Correct section here. Reduce the reds normal and strong, same as before. Go away green shadows is really good if you've had to go in very firm with reduce the reds so you can use that to kind of lift any greenish areas of skin. Purple skin lift and boost, same as before. Orange calm, sometimes you might find you have um, orange patches left over. You can use that one there. Yellow remover is the same, so it's the grey skin booster. Uh, vibrant skin toner. And warm up baby is the same. So we have grey skin booster there. Remove a little bit of that orange and you can always change the opacity on these if you want to to suit your image because every image is a little bit different. The groups are now much more intuitive too so you can open up a group if you have one and you can see exactly what is inside if you want to really go in there reverse engineer and change that up. You have the gorgeous detail brushes same as before lift the grey eye sockets eyelid smooth and tone sharpen the lashes and details eye goo calm so if you've got any that yellow eye goo in there you can use that to calm it down bright open eyes if baby's eyes open in the image you can use this one to really make those peepers pop baby soft lip balm and you can play them all and go through if you want to 
The Divine Foundation Brush section includes creamy soft pale skin, creamy velvet dark skin, um, as before. You also have Peachy Magic Punch. This was formerly the um, Peachy Skin Magic. It has been changed a little bit. It doesn't need a background layer to run. It will work exactly um, at whatever stage you're at in your editing, it will work from there. So that one has had an upgrade. Ivory Skin Boost, Honey Bright, Olive Mid, Chestnut Skin and Taupe. You can play these um, to instantly just paint over the skin and color it up. So this is a Honey Bright. So this will add, exactly as it says, a honey brightness to the skin there. So you can see, you can just colour this in and it will really uh, help you tone the skin, um, give it a uniform toning there. Depending on um, the skin tone of your baby, you can use any of these. Something that's really cool as well, you see the little box here, you can also double click this and you can change the colour if you want to. The manual editing section is the same. You still have select and fix. Make sure you select an area first. You can work on a duplicate fixing area. Grab the patch tool and um, select any areas that you need to fix in your image. For example, here, and then play select and fix and it will work to remove those areas for you. Frequency separation, you can, if you don't use frequency separation, you can watch the tutorial on the LSP Actions website. Um, this is the same, remove flakes is the same, except the, the, the changes are these do not need a background layer now, that is the main change with these ones which is really really helpful. Blanket fade and blanket creases. I'm going to take a snapshot and flatten there as recommended. The finishing overlay section you have the matte and blur background paint, creamy matte, dark and woody, hazy white matte, pastel pink, palmer cool is a new one, peachy perfect, vanilla softy is new, warm blanky, little vintage, Daffodils, Tulip Matte, Comfort, Sugar Finish are all new, so you can simply play these out, decide if you like the effect on your image, play with the opacity if you wanted to, or hide it. A black brush is also selected for you, so you can paint this off any areas of your image you wish for it not to show. Same with all overlays there, you can also um, play them all and mix and match. The black and white is the same, um, except some tweaks have been ironed out, they again they do not need a background layer anymore, they will all work independently and not interfere with each other. And then you have the final one click polish tweak, bring up the lights, turn down the lights, subtle contrast, medium heavy, the vignette and the sharpen. The Facebook resize landscape and portrait have been ironed out again, they will work even faster and better. You have a simple resize which literally just resizes your image for Facebook as a new image, the white frame resize and the elegant frame resize. So you can click these, it will create a brand new image um, in Facebook size. Zoom in, that is actually now in Facebook size. You have frame overlays that you can add in to. It's entirely up to you. And then you can add your watermark and save. The Instagram resize gives you a square option and a keep ratio option. This um, resizes for the optimum pixel dimensions for Instagram. Again, on a brand new image, it will not affect your image. And then you have save for website. You have resize for web. This is if you're um, adding these to your website, to your blog, to shopproof, anything like that. And then you can come up here and go file, um, export, save for web, or you can use the save for web option and it will open that window up for you. Just make sure you choose JPEG and high. And that comes to the end of the brand new Signature Newborn Actions. There are plenty in here to choose from. Everything is organised in intuitive orders. You no longer need a background action to run. A few things, the name have been tweaked a little bit, but it will not um, affect where you were. So if you want to go ahead and delete the old set from your Photoshop, you can. Having the old set still in there will not make any difference to the runtime. You can have both. Any questions, pop them in the LSP Actions Facebook group, Facebook uh, forward slash groups, forward slash Lemon Sky Actions, and enjoy your new update. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.